Many years ago, I uh, saw in a book in English, uh, in the name of, of uh, Avram Pam, he was the Rosh Yeshiva here, not far from me, I, I live in Brooklyn, New York, uh, he was a Rosh Yeshiva in Yeshiva Torah Vadat. And uh, they had various advice uh, from Rav Pam. And uh, one of the interesting ideas had to do with what we read in our parsha in the weekly reading Chayi Sarah, about the first description of a Shaduch, I guess, where the Torah describes the, uh, the way that uh, Eliezer was sent to bring a wife for Yitzhak. And uh, one of the interesting things he learns, a lot of things, of course, in various communities are somewhat different the way we look for Shaduch even today's day and age, but there are still a lot of things to learn from our forefathers. And one of the things he learns is that one should never be too, um, uh, too attached to a specific Shaduch if it doesn't work out. And that is, he brings the following proof. Look, he says, Eliezer experienced a tremendous, uh, what's called Siata Deshmaya in Aramaic, uh, help of heaven. He saw really uh, that Hashem helped him find the right girl seemingly almost immediately. He prayed to Hashem, he said which kind of girl he's looking for, which sign will uh, uh, help determine that this is the girl you uh, prepared for Yitzchak. And immediately came, came out Rivka, and it turned out she's not just from this uh, town, she's actually a relative, she comes from the family of Avram, which was a, a double advantage, at least uh, considered that way in those times. And uh, um, one would think that clearly this is the bashert, what they call in Yiddish, right? This is the woman. There's no other choice. It's very obvious that this is the one. And still when Eliezer tells uh, her relatives and uh, tells them the whole story, he says, well, now you make the decision uh, if uh, you are interested in this shidduch. Uh, Rivka was also asked a little bit later, right, if she wants to go with him. But whatever the case may be, he gave them the choice and said that if, if I'll get a no, I will go to my right or left. I will go to, uh, to find the shidduch somewhere else. So Rav Pam learns from this that uh, a person should never um, think that this is absolutely the, 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 the person I'm going to marry. And therefore, if the answer is no, I'm going to keep trying, persuading, I will not go on until I, I, I may be able to get this particular lady. The same thing is true, of course, for the woman. For when, if she finds somebody she thinks is this is the one that she really wants to marry. If it doesn't work, you have to try your best to find somebody else. You, you cannot really um, become totally attached to this particular shidduch. Even if what you think seems to be the, the, the will of Hashem, what seems to be a lot of things matched, a lot of things seem to be, it's clear that Hashem was the shidduch. How do you really know? Even Eliezer, who saw tremendous yata deshmaya, a lot of help from heaven and clear indications that this is the right shidduch. And still, he was uh, willing to, to try something else if this not, is not going to work out. Uh, so it's a very important, I think, moral lesson for all of us today.